everyone, my name is Meg and I'm a marine mammal trainer here at the Indianapolis Zoo. One of the animals that I'm able to work with is our dolphins and right now I am in our dolphin gallery and just over to the side of me is our dolphin dome which just opened in 2005. Now one of the things that we are able to do in our dome that a lot of people don't get to see every time they come to the zoo is something that we call a dome session. So we're going to be showing you how our dome session works. What happens first is there are trainers that are posted up above in our pavilion and then there are also a set of trainers that will go down into our dome. They also each have a set of radios so that way they're able to communicate to each other from the dolphins up in the pavilion to when they send them down to the dome. The dolphins are picked up usually at the stage and then from there they'll send them down to the trainers that are in the dome. Now once the dolphins get to the trainers in the dome they're able to do a variety of different behaviors. So they can do little behaviors such as opening up their mouths, spinning in circles, they can blow bubbles, do somersaults, wiggle their flippers, different things like that. And also when they're down in the dome, it also is a great advantage for guests because it allows them to come up closer to the dolphins and see them, see all their different unique characteristics, usually just from about a foot away. Now another advantage of the dome sessions is during shows, it allows the trainers down in the dome to send the dolphins on different aerials, such as bows or high target jumps, so that way it seems to appear as if the dolphins are coming from nowhere. Now this works just like it does with the smaller behaviors. The dolphins will start from up top, be sent down to the trainers in the dome, where they're sent on their aerial. Now usually the dolphins always do something that we call a takeoff, where they do kind of a small jump at the surface and then they go down to the bottom of the pool, jump up, and do their aerial. Now like I said, we have bows that they can do, which usually ha happen at either sides of the dome, as well as the high target jumps where they hit the large orange ball that we hang from our ceiling. So maybe next time you come to the zoo, you'll be able to see our dolphin dome sessions in action.